Just five months after being paroled for lying to police about Zion Foster's disappearance, Jalen Brazier is back in prison after being denied bond during today's arraignment. A murder charge in the case of 17-year-old Zion Foster came one year and five months after she was first reported missing. And her cousin, 24-year-old Jalen Brazier, the last person known to have seen her, now faces that charge. The defendant took a young woman's life disposed of her remains, and then repeatedly and repeatedly obstructed the investigation into her disappearance. You may remember this is a case in which Zion's body was never found. Her cousin, Jalen Brazier, was convicted for lying to police, saying he panicked and put her body in a dumpster after she fell unconscious, after they had both smoked weed. He admitted he lied to police and served a sentence of 10 months in jail for perjury. He made a plea, he served his time, in the correctional facility for those charges. So what has changed since that time? In court, when the prosecutor started down that path, he was stopped by the judge. There is a suppression order I just want to remind you on uh, suppressing any, uh, well, I'm sure you read it sir, from your office. No, I, I understand, so just, Your Honor, and we, we did move to suppress the uh, the warrant uh, once it was entered into the system, just so that there wouldn't be any interference with the arrest. Um, but I, I do feel that it also to... indicates suppression of the investigators report uh, as well uh, as the warrant information and witness list. But the defense attorney says even though he was just assigned this case, he finds it hard to believe enough has changed to warrant holding his client without a bond. This is at least the third time the prosecutor's office has tried to bring charges against my client for the disappearance and alleged mirror murder of Zion Foster. And they've been told multiple times, you do not have enough evidence. That attorney says a lack of progress in the case shouldn't be held against Brazier. This is a 2022 case. You know, you know what stopped this case? The Detroit police not doing their job, period. And that's not anything my client did. The idea that the Detroit Police Department uh, did not do their job is, is frankly offensive, given that it's been publicly reported in this case that officers of the Detroit Police Department risked their own health to dig and dig and dig through a landfill. Despite keeping the evidence in this case secret for now, the magistrate says he saw enough to hold the defendant without a bond. I've had the opportunity to review the investigator's report and it is extremely concerning. Siding with the prosecutor who says he could potentially try and run away. During the course of his parole, he has inquired with the Michigan Department of Corrections about relocating to the state of Nevada. He does not have the means to go anywhere. He just started a job a month ago. He lives with his family. He has a wife and two children here. He is not a flight risk at all. He doesn't have the means and he doesn't have anything necessary to go anywhere, let alone out of the state of Michigan. So now Brazier will wait in custody at least until his next court appearance, which is scheduled for July 3rd. Reporting live in the studio tonight, Dave Spencer on The Edge.